Hey guys, this is Shane. Welcome to my Curator of the Laws channel. Today, I want to talk about something that I think we're headed toward that is going to have an impact for booksellers on, on, on eBay. And that is the question of the future of media mail. I, I don't have anything, you know, any post office articles or anything that are suggesting this, but I have to wonder, are we seeing the early stages of the death of media mail? Is media mail eventually going to be phased out? And the reason I, I say that is it's, it's from both an official phase out and then a practical phase out. Um, and I'll unpack that in a second, but this comes after the heels of this latest post office, um, you know, rate increase of, of July of 2023. And I look back and, you know, we've had five postal rate increases in the last two years since like, you know, the first 2021. And, you know, even this year in 2023, we had, we had a rate increase in January. And then there was another one, you know, if you go back to 2022, like July of 2022. So there's been like five rate increases and I was shipping this last week and I was, it actually, it was finally just catching up to me where I had some books that, you know, some three pound books that media mail was is costing over $6 to ship. And when I put my supplies on top of that, you're really talking, you know, you're getting into that $7 time, you know, $7 uh, price amount, not time price for media mail shipping. And when I start looking at some alternatives, depending on the book, it makes me wonder if the way the pricing is going, if eventually the post office is either just going to kill media mail and try to merge it in with this new ground advantage and or priority, or if the pricing just keeps going up that it doesn't even make sense. And I'll show some examples. We'll unpack this, but like I said, I have nothing official that says that it's just something I see as a practical matter. And I just don't, I actually talked about it to one of my postal guys and he's, he's, I actually brought it up that the prices were getting closer and he even volunteered. Yeah. I just don't know that they're going to keep media mail. Just if thinking about back in the day when you used to ship information, but now with so much stuff, you know, electronic and digital and most people that do media mail are for collectors. And, uh, so that was even, I didn't even phrase the question, are they going to kill media mail? I made a comment about pricing and then he came back with that as well. So I just, I don't wait, just first before we, we, you know, let's, let me just show you what happened to me this last week. All right. I was shipping. I'm going to pop uh, some, some little inset screenshots up so you can follow this. I'll, I'll talk about it, but there'll be some, some numbers up there too, that hopefully you can see. Um, but you know, I had a one pound, nine ounce book, just, that's a pretty standard book, right? Something probably, you know, something probably like this, you know, a regular size book. And I typically will ship those things in a, in a mailer like this, anything that's about an inch to an inch and a half, have good success shipping it in this multi-depth mailer. I've got a link to these. Um, I love them. They're fast. They're lightweight. There's a link to these where I get them on Amazon. They've been going up. I typically can find them still for around 72 to 75 cents each. If I buy them at a hundred at a time. Uh, the weight saves me something. They're really fast. They offer protection. I like them. They're like probably my favorite mailer for thinner books, like anything under say an inch and a half, even though this one will go, I think the multi-depth of this goes, you might be able to see the scoring goes up to about two, you know, two inches. Um, I typically don't use them for thicker stuff, but it's thicker. I go to a regular box. I ship in boxes. Um, this is something, if you look to my channels, it's something I've always done as a, as a, as a seller, I, I kind of approach it from like, this. I'm a buyer. I hate to order books myself and get them in a, just a poly bag, um, with no protection and they get damaged in transit. So I've always leaned toward boxes, but we'll have more of that, you know, that makes challenges that concept for me every time we have a rate increase. But anyway, that's what I would, this would be like a one pound nine ounce. So this, uh, this first case was, I had a one pound, nine ounce, uh, book. So it's one pound, nine ounce book. And I'll pop it up again. Media mail for that was $4 and 67 cents. Okay. 
then I'm paying 75 cents or so for that mailer. So I'm at, at five and a half bucks for that. The priority mail, as you'll see, you should be able to see on the, the inset, was only 720 and I can use their supplies. So my cost, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting, you know, on the order of with on, for a lighter weight book, I'm getting on the order of like a dollar fifty to a dollar seventy five delta between media mail and priority mail for something pretty, you know, reasonable pound and a half a regular book. Okay. the 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 next one was a three pound eleven ounce book. I shipped that in a. Um, you know, like a, a 10 by 8 by, uh, just got this 10 by 8. This is one of my other favorites. It's a 10 by 8 by 3. I use a 10 by 8 by 3 or a 12 by 9 by 3 when I go to this. I love the protection. Use this box, and they're cheaper. I can typically find these if I order them, like in by 100 a piece, you know, in the um, 50 to 55 cents range. They used to be like 30 something cents. Anyway, um, that three pound 11 ounce book was $6.17 on media mail after this last July rate. Priority mail would have only, I'm gonna put it up, priority mail was only $7.25. It, it's like barely over a dollar and I've got 50 something cents in, my, in, in this, in the box. So my cost, what, you know, really what I need to be you know, providing to the, to the buyer or absorbing in my price or whatever, it's about the same between media mail and priority mail. So that's why I ask, are we seeing the death of media mail from a practical standpoint? Because regardless if it's there or not, if the price of media mail keeps going up and the prices of this priority mail, depending on how it, it gets, you know, it, it can, you know, it can be equivalent. So why have media mail? The issue that I find and what I, I've got to do more research on before I go one way or another on maybe I'm going to talk about maybe changing the way I do my shipping is the great thing about media mail is it's always it's flat shipping to anywhere in the United States. It's just based on weight. All right. It's not based on zone. Priority mail can get you into trouble because that's in zone. Okay. Um, you ship from, I'm in Alabama. I ship to Tennessee. That's just maybe one zone. I ship to California. That's like zone seven. It's going to be, it's going to be more expensive the further I ship it. The other thing is that, um, these rates I'm talking about are based with on an eBay, um, discount, right? And, uh, you gotta get some, some feedback from you guys. I know I get that. I'm going to have a, a, just a store subscription. I don't, do, do people, I guess the question I need to research is do people that don't have stores get that, you know, if you just do the eBay shipping, um, do you still get that discount? But sometimes those discounts can be like, you know, 45%. It, it's routinely like 20 to 23% discount on shipping. And the question is, I believe though, that I, I'm not sure it passes that savings along to the buyer. So there's some research I've got to do there on that pricing and how to protect yourself from, um, you know, zonal shipping. If, you know, I just made the move and went straight, just did everything priority. I just, I have a feeling that as a buyer for a lot of books though, that buyers would just, you know, if that gets too expensive, that, I mean, that's going to, it has to impact your sales. And that's always the fear, right? But the reality is, is that I just had a three pound, three pound book that cost, $7 with media mail. Um, so, so the, the, the issue is here is, you know, how the priority mail through the eBay, eBay system gets priced to the buyer and then the effects of zone dim, dimensional weight and zonal shipping where you don't get screwed on, on the, the, the shipping costs. So there's a lot to unpack here. One potential thing that I've researched though, is possibly using flat rate priority envelopes. And, you know, I, I'll pause here for a second too, that, you know, there is some precedent for this. I think it's Poshmark. If you sell something on Poshmark, I haven't done it, I researched it, but everything on Poshmark goes priority. You have a book, it's a, it's like a flat priority rate that they've negotiated. So that's another thing that's in this, you know, this whole thing, 
you know, of it's well, I guess what I've been talking about is not only the death of it's the death of media mail is that upon us. And then what are our alternatives and how do we move to that? And I think priority is the way to do it. And how do we do that? That's smart. You know, I don't think this is something that will happen immediately, but it is something that to be thinking about. So it, along those lines, this thing that I've been thinking about is maybe using the flat rate envelope that would take out the zones. Now, this is just for a regular book. Now look, what I did, because I want protection, right? So what I did, I just taped this. If this would tape and you could pull it, but I just put a piece of tape there just so it would close. Now look, inside it, I used the Priority Mail bubble mailer for extra protection. All right, so a book I just bought, actually this is a good book, probably gonna, this is actually probably gonna go to Amazon to sell. But Anatomy of Golf Course, if you're looking for a good book, I think it's like a $24, $25 book. So um, uh, this is just a regular book. This is something that's in that uh, regular size, you know. It's what, maybe, you know, an inch. It fit inside the Priority Mail flat rate bubble mailer, which you could just use. You could just use this direct. But if I want extra protection, I was very easily able to fold that without damaging the book and sticking it in the flat rate mailer. Now, do I think that is as good as a box? No, I don't. You know, I think even I, these offer more protection. I like the way when I wrap a book in here, it gives more hard edge, right? So I, I just, I still feel like this gives maximum protection and maybe for real high dollar books, I still go with this. I'm not saying I'm going to jump to, you know, a priority mail solution or something like this, but I at least want to throw that out and show where my mind is going and for you to be thinking about it too, because I just think that I, it would not surprise me in the next year to two years that media mail is gone. And as booksellers where we've taken advantage and enjoyed the, some of the best value out there for shipping with media mail, uh, we're going to have to adjust. And there's some expectation there that customers, you know, there, there's going to be some price shock if this goes up, you know, a lot. And we're going to have to figure out how to manage that with our pricing, with how we charge for shipping, what the expectation is. And above all is not to get hosed on something where you get a, you know, it's not like a flat rate and you all of a sudden, you know, the buyer is across the country and, and your rate goes up and not, you lose money because your shipping is 18 or $20 or something that, you know, you just can't have that. So anyway, some things to think about. I just, I just think that we are, I hope I'm wrong, but I just, I think it's, it's, it's the death of media mail. I just don't think that we're going to, it's going to be around for that much longer. Um, a final, final thing I will say on this new ground advantage where they combine first class there's some, I've seen rates on that for me, on the things I've checked on it have gone up. One thing I've found is anything under a pound, you don't get the one ounce price increases on the, that was on first class. It's like every four ounces. It's like four, eight, 12, and 16. So it's more tiered instead of, you know, more quant, uh, less quantization, right? It's, you don't have it like every ounce. It's just every four ounces. So you can have a five, in five ounce, um, a five to eight ounce, item is going to cost the same where before there was more graduation in there. So what I've seen for my things I sell this July, 2023 20, increase has, has, has increased all of my shipping. And I believe that we're going to have more, more impact. And it's going to get to the point where it doesn't make sense to ship things media mail with the cost of supplies going up. Um, it's just going to make sense to, to go to some kind of priority mail solution. Um, so anyway, be thinking about it. I think, unfortunately, it's on us. So um, I'll be interested to see your feedback. Uh, I know there's lots of, you know, so, you know, lots of, a little bit of venting, a little bit of rambling, but hopefully it's information to get you thinking. And, um, you know, that's that's the main thing. It's not something we have to do today, but it is something that has to, we're, we're going to have to address. So talk to you soon. Bye.